in combat fair mode. Feel it. The serum begins its work, bonding to spinal fluid, retracing neural pathways. Painful. Effective. You may have saved my life. I won't forget that. Your memory is the least of my concerns. The serum's course is unpredictable and it will take time, but you will be free from the brainwashing. For now, the SIS is waiting. They won't recognize your chance to escape when it comes, but I will. The mines are poisoned, the Republic's running scared. Fantastic. We won't give them a chance to recover. Our next move is to hit the Republic again. <laughs> Send him in. Quick. Grag is a leader of the Hot Cartel. I'm not sure that's smart. Don't worry. Grag is dependable. He's here to make amends for the three families. They violated the cartel's neutrality to help the Republic's mining operation on Quesh. Such favoritism deeply upset the Empire. With the rogue huts isolated, all that's left is the killing blow. But first, we must sever their source of income, the Republic's adrenal factories. Only then can we destroy the three families. <laughs> Rag, you finally grace us with your presence. A pleasure to meet you. The three families won't be vulnerable until we sever their income. Time to hit the Republic where it hurts. Rag, have your army hold the factories. Don't... Cut down the Jedi defenders. The scientists are just doing their job. If that's your choice.
Increasing combat pheromones. To see your master, I applied a fresh coat of paint to your quarters. The same color, of course. Codename Saber to codename Leggett. We've been waiting for your all clear. Everything all right? It takes time to shore up relationships inside the Empire. I can't be constantly answering to you. I've done undercover jobs, Leggett. Three months as a collaborator in the Ryloth slave pits. It's rough. Master Koth has another mission for you. He wants you heading to the Hoth system as soon as possible. Contact him once you arrive. Saber out. We've been dreaming lately. Great Spitcrete vessels weeped you above the castle lands. Their engines scorched the air. Dark ship swarms shade the sky, humming a song of farewell. We remember the great migration. When the lost nests departed Alderaan. What was the point of the migration? Why did so many Killix leave? That we don't remember. Resources, perhaps? But there's something else. In our dream, there is a mosaic that mirrors the stars and shows us the lost one's destination. We request leave for a pilgrimage agent to follow the first steps of the migrant Killix. You think the lost nests are still out there? It's been millennia since the migration, and we doubt we'll see more than dust or petrified shells. Still, the journey honors our kin. We're already packed. We've spent a lot of time and money on you. You'll need a bodyguard to keep you out of trouble. We are Dawn Herald. We have some ability to defend ourselves. So, you made it back from your pilgrimage. Our journey is over. We saw strange worlds and markers set in stone and frozen lakes of steaming colors, but no Killix. The colony found planets that suited them, but none that could support them. They divided into a thousand nests, each going its own way, to a hundred different stars. I know this isn't the end you were hoping for. We forged a connection to the lost colony. Even if we didn't find it, this means a great deal. In any event, we're sorry... What? There is a scent here. You're not giving up already. We apologize for surprising you, but it took time for us to become aware of your presence. More to find you. But we welcome you nonetheless. We are Dizana, of the Lassi Nest. Dizana. I represent the Sith Empire, along with Vector Hillis. Yes, but are you Vector? Dizana of Lacey. 
We are Dawn Herald of Ouroboro. Ouroboro? We barely recognize the scent. We thought we'd lost the nests of Alderaan until you followed. Our fleet ship pursued you here. The colony still exists, spun across the stars. Our nests still kin. A trillion and more Killix will dance and sing tonight. She seems to like you, Vector. She is a joiner agent. It's how we are. Our emissaries are not far from your own. Let them touch and bring knowledge. Yes. The Lacey shall rejoice. She offers dancing and Membrosia the chance to walk the tunnels of the Synapse Comb. The Don Herald must come with us. As his partner, you may accompany and share in our joy. I'd, I'd love to see a Killig celebration lead the way. Don't worry. We'll be out before the pheromones bond to your system. The Membrosia runs in golden rivers. You're doing well. Accompany the joiners, if you wish. Morning comes soon. We're impressed. You held up well. More to the point, you brought together the fragments of an ancient people. We can't fully express our gratitude. We hear the singing of a thousand nests and are at peace. I'm glad you're in high spirits. Call it a day, then. Agreed, Agent. Cypher, join us. Vector and I were just discussing Moff Letshara. We never met her, of course. Quite fortunate, that. But Vector did know her husband, a, a fine Dejaric player and a scribe of the Ilfmar Gambit. We apparently share the Doctor's taste in theatre. I didn't know you were interested in theatre. Think of it as a, a testing ground for human nature, much like the game of Dejaric. We can finish this later, Doctor. <laughs> Your crew members are delightful people. For instance, did you know Mistress Kaleo is fluent in Kalish profanities? A rare and admirable skill. I wonder how you manage them. Leadership is such a delicate thing. My team knows what they're doing. A fine philosophy until one stabs you in the back. Still, it's good you value their camaraderie. A dead or alienated colleague is a resource lost, and in our business... It's a small step from being disliked to being blacklisted. I appreciate the benefit of your experience. And I appreciate your company. But I'm afraid I have to attend to my data analysis program. Name Legate to base command. Come in, base command. Base command receiving, Legate. Don't be surprised if I cut out. The whole Hoth system is murder on the comms. And not so good for people, either. I'll keep the signal clear. What's my mission? Hoth's a frozen rock. Not worth much on its own. But years back, it saw one of the war's biggest battles. Hundreds of ships got dragged into the atmosphere. Made a sort of a starship graveyard for the best girls in the fleet. You're going to bring one home. There's going to be a catch. It's a war zone down there. Republic salvage operations, Imperial saboteurs, and the White Maw. A few thousand pirates who want the scrap for themselves. Plus, the Starbreeze is a moot type shuttle. Slip of a thing. Have an able locator in the wreckage. Our only lead is inside the Imperial Army. That explains why you needed a defector. We have reports that Lyak Davos, an Imperial Admiral who fought in the Battle of Hoth, is assembling an expedition to the Starship Graveyard. He's after a long list of salvage, the Starbreeze included. Join Admiral Davos and get that shuttle to us instead. 
You'll have the ship before the Admiral knows it's gone. Codename Hunter will contact you from the field. He's en route to Hoth now. In the meantime, talk to Admiral Davos' search and recovery men at the Imperial base and get the Starbreeze back. You have no idea how important she is. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Adama Space Station. I gather this visit is because you'll be travelling through to the surface of Hoth. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all. I am merely assigned to assist. I'll be scanning you so I can customise your cold weather equipment. Then I'll arrange your briefing. There we are. As you're on the VIP list, Lieutenant Halpern will brief you. He's in the theatre. Good day. Good to have you with us. The men were wondering if they'd get to see the VIP. Ostensibly, the conflict on Hoth is over salvage from a battle that happened above the planet. In reality, it is our trap for the Republic. I hadn't heard anything about a trap on Hoth. Explain. The fight with the Republic has lasted for years now. The objective on Hoth is not to end the battle, but to sustain it. We want our forces small and mobile, and while the Republic keeps chasing victory, we bleed them dry of personnel and equipment. You'll need good intelligence for that. It is a certainty, sir. Uh, good to have you on board. Sir, forgive the interruption. I brought by your survival equipment. We were just finishing, Ensign. This should keep your core body temperature up. When you're ready, report to a pilot in the shuttle bay for transport to the planet. Colonel Vanis at Dawn Base will be waiting for you. Good luck down there. End of the line. Everybody out. You've got a meeting with Commander Triton. My briefing said I was to meet a Colonel Vanis. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Commander Triton's the one listed as in charge now. I'm sure he can fill you in on the story. Your advice boils down to doing nothing, and that I cannot do. Sir, I respect your bravery, but if you see this through personally, you will be dead. And whose leadership will we have then? Ah, the agent. It's good you've arrived. This is Commander Triton, and I am his advisor, Eudrus. Lieutenant Halpin sent word you would be coming, and we've never had greater need of you. Colonel Vanis, the commander of this base, is missing. We fear he's dead along with all the most experienced men from this base. What's the situation? The Colonel went out to investigate evidence of a possible spy probe near the Ice Lake. He was under heavy guard. We received a distress call. It was obvious he found trouble. 
scale one to dawn base. Heavy casualties. Taking heavy casualties. We're under attack. We can't see the. What on this world could take out an armed group of officers? Besides the Republic, there are Wampers, pirates, mostly aliens unafraid of the Empire. But we can't simply cower in our base when the mission is to damage and exhaust the Republic. And our men can't do it. Commander, this visit is a gift to us from fate. You will soon know all you need to. You have my word. Good. Intel is the priority. We must learn what happened to Vanis and rescue him if he still lives. Our best case scenario is that Colonel Vanis's communications tipped off the Republic and he's gone quiet. But if I were out in that cold, I'd have called for a rescue. If you can find the Colonel, everyone on this base is in your debt. Satellite's dead. What do your people know about Grid Alpha 9? Pirate territory. Heavily fortified. Can you get me numbers? Perhaps, but our manpower is limited. Manpower? Excuse me. Captain Leo Firth, search and recovery. Saw your docking authorization. You must be our visitor from intelligence. Do you have a problem with me, Captain? No, sir. I just didn't think intelligence oversight was needed here. Sergeant, you're dismissed. The Chiss Ascendancy has been operating on Hoth for years. Useful, but let's not kid ourselves. So, what is it you came here for? Lyak Davos, Head of Search and Recovery, where is he? Ah. The Admiral's a good man. But you're out of luck. He left base with his expedition 36 hours ago. Long-range comms are almost useless in this weather. You want to wait? He'll be back in a few weeks. Give me his last known location and I'll be going. Look, there might still be a crew at the expedition launch site. It's where the Admiral's supply line to the Starship Graveyard starts. But trying to reach the launch point now is suicide. Weather's bad, and there are Republic commandos in the area. I don't plan to stay out longer than I have to. But Admiral Davos isn't leaving without me. Understood, sir. I hope you find what you're after. Sir, I don't understand why we stay. Your money's always good here. Again.
Increasing combat pheromones.
I found Colonel Varnis. He was dead, murdered by Republic Tarls. Tarls. That would make sense. Cold adapted, Republic aligned. I've not killed their kind before. What about you, Commander? What? Yes, of course. The base awaits your orders, Commander. We are having deep morale issues in the forward outpost. I must show them that we can triumph without Colonel Varnis. Now is the time for reprisals. These chittering animals will not get away with this. I want ten of the Republic to suffer for every one of ours dead. I want every last tolls wiped out, their heads on sticks out in the frost. If it were that easy, you'd have done it already. We have the proper intelligence. Now we need a plan of action. A covert action is advisable, or we'll end up wiping out one group and causing the rest to go into hiding. I have data arrays we could install in their communications link. If we did that, we could locate and estimate their numbers before we hit them. They weren't carrying handheld comms. They probably got way stations. I can bug those. This sounds plausible. As much as I hate to admit it, Eudris is usually right about these things. Commander! Coming, Commander! Go ahead, Scout 5. We found a nest of tolls on the ice lake. Too many to engage. Transmitting coordinates now. Our luck is changing. If we can get those arrays into whatever they're using for communications, we'll soon know what we need. When you're done, report to the forward outpost. It's closer to the lake, and the men there can see your success in person. <laughs> 